depressing. Why did everyone, like, withhold when I was announced? That's depressing. <laughs> That's never... That felt like withholding. That didn't feel like apathy. That felt like... This motherfucker. <laughs> Is it because I'm always talking about suicide? I'm sorry! Jesus, it's what's on my mind. I can't wait to do it. Um, I'm never more than five steps away from suicide, and usually I can get there in three. <laughs> For example, step one, uh, I want pizza. Step two, I don't want that pizza. Step three, where can I kill myself? <laughs> So, I'm never gonna do it. I, I, I really, really, really want to do it. But I don't think I ever will. I think I'm never gonna live up to it. Because knowing how long it would take someone to find me dead in my apartment is so depressing that I just can't kill, I can't, I can't go through it. It's too sad. If it was just like a little less sad, if there was just like a little more light at the end of the tunnel, I would absolutely forge ahead with it. But as it is, there's like this wafer-thin sliver of hope standing between me and my dream. I haven't trained anyone to check on me, that's half the problem. I think my, even my mom would take at least four weeks to have the cops break my door. Because she's used to me not calling, and I can't think of which of my friends would actually call me, not hear back for a while, and put together that I might be dead and not just being a dick. So I brought it on myself, my death will go unnoticed for a minimum of four weeks uh, when my rotting corpse erection is already starting to flag and uh, can't even see the masturbation scabs anymore. It'll all just be sort of a dry, bluish gray. A faint whisper of a man.